never experienced. <laughs> I'm Anna Marie. I'm Kath. Happy New Year. Yes. And also today we are on the Gloucester and Sharpness Canal. In the middle. In the middle of the canal because we've been in lockdown. We are taking you guys for water. We thought, hey, what would you like to do today? I'm sure you want to come and see us get water. We obviously, if you watched our last live stream, you'll know that our original plan was to go back to the start of the canal at Gloucester Docks and film the whole thing for you in sequence. But as we're in a tier four lockdown area now, that's kind of, it's non-essential travel. So we're just gonna take you from the middle, which is where we've been moored up for the last few weeks and show you this patch. gonna say Raven is still asleep but they ducked down because it did not want to be on camera so good morning Raven we're just getting water we'll be right back we have to go back to where we were because we have to go back to where we were because it has awesome solar we thought about moving because we can actually go get water and just more up there because it's kind of the same we're in tier 4 which means we're not allowed to leave the area but we want to go back there because you get sol you get sun all day. Yeah, it's not quite south facing, but it's pretty close. It's close enough. Yeah. We've had some awesome solar. Let us know if you want us to do a breakdown of our winter solar. We're in two minds about it. We're a little bit kind of iffy about whether or not to do a breakdown of winter solar because whenever you do something publicly, people always say, "Oh, what about this and what about that?" and you know, it can get really negative. So just let us know if you would be interested in the breakdown of the solar in a positive way. <laughs> and sharpness canal is that the gates are all operated for you by really friendly gate people and you just have to wait for the lights to change color a red light means they haven't seen you yet a flashing red light means they've seen you and then a green light means go some visitors to the canal speed up thinking it's going to be like um, a faster traffic system but actually sometimes you do need to hover so you kind of got to plan in advance where your hovering spot is. Um, this guy today reminded us that we are allowed to go through the gate, but only for essential travel. would not be moving right now if this was not essential but we are very very low on water and we didn't want to move yesterday because it was really sunny and I thought it was best used to move on an overcast day the rain was not forecast when we planned this
inside really quickly. It's raining ice outside and I wanted to say something really important and Kath and I have both been thinking about whether or not to say this for a while because we get lots of emails from you guys about moving onto boats and how you're changing your life and selling up and all that kind of thing. And we just really don't wanna present cruising and living on a canal boat idealistically. Things are gonna go wrong. You're gonna to have to move your boat in freezing rain. Uh, you're gonna to need to get water. Your gas is going to go out. We don't want you to think that it's always roses because we are quite optimistic people. But you know, some days are really hard. Today is one of those days. We definitely don't like to complain, especially not on camera, and especially not because we, we know we do live really privileged lives. But we also don't wanna misrepresent to you, winter on a narrowboat can be hard. I know that you are having a hard time right But everything seems to crumble around you I know that you feel all alone in this world But you have to Trust into us and we will help you through Cause we only want what's best, what's best for you I know that you are having trouble believing right Everything is gonna be, is gonna be alright. I know that you feel all alone in this world, but you have to put your trust into us, and we will help you through. Cause we only want what's best. What is best for you? say this while I'm absolutely fuming those fishermen just threw things at us we were coming past one what of the fishermen that? one of the fishermen didn't have his eye on his lure so it got caught by the boat and Kath stopped for him far away from them as yeah well, we weren't even near the them side of the canal and it's wide and Kath stopped for them and none of the other fishermen came into the water yeah so none of the other fishermen um, raised their rods and then they started throwing things at us and shouting at us because and I said and I explained to the first guy what yeah. happened your friends down there weren't paying attention so I stopped so he didn't lose his rod yeah so rude but I mean fine have a, <laughs> have a bit of a yell you know sort things out because we're yelling from the boat because you can't hear but don't start throwing things These are oh my men. goodness this is an, an older gentleman Oh. What are the chances that you would get to the water point right at the same time as another boat? Always. And we have to go back past them, so we're going to show you them. And we don't like to shame people.
like what the turning circle of your boat actually is. If you come to the Gloucester and Sharpness Canal, you can actually do a full 360. We I didn't, didn't go into reverse once. No. So that's our full turning circle, now you've seen it. Some people think that boats can kind of just pivot in the middle if you go fast enough. Obviously, if you go faster, your turn might be sharper. But that was our turn, our full turning circle. Now we are third boat in a row for some water. And Kaf said, I'm not allowed to walk back to the fishermen to explain to them about life. Thank you. We did the water point shuffle, as it's known fondly on the narrowboat experience. Is it? <laughs> what did I call it? Okay. It was the sideways shuffle was inside the boat. Yeah, we do the sideways shuffle all the time. That was the water point shuffle when there's one or more boats. And now we are heading exactly back to whence we came. I was hoping for a bit of blue sky for you guys but and for us yeah that has not happened we forgot because we haven't moved that much in winter either we forgot about our baseball caps top tip for moving really any time of the year is the baseball caps because in summer and spring and autumn they keep the sun off your face in autumn there's really low sun so that's really good and in and winter in, there's low sun too yeah and in winter they keep the rain off your glasses so we didn't wear them this morning and we regretted it. Mind you, I'm, wish I'm missing my other hat because my ears are getting cold. Yeah. My ears are awesome. So that's the scene of the crime. I'm all recovered now. I just got really cross because I've never had anything, well, I had one thing thrown at me when I was in Birmingham and it was by somebody who I'm pretty sure was having a very tough day mentally and was in doing- In their apartment. Yeah, was doing a lot of screaming in their apartment anyway and, you know, finding, the, finding life a bit tough. I've never had anything thrown at me by a grown man <laughs> because of his tiny little pole and his tiny little lua. And because, I mean, look how big the canal is. This is the strip of canal. You can see us coming, right? People don't understand that you can't stop the boat. They don't understand how big it is and how you can't stop it. Some fisher people want you to slow down, some don't. But none of them pulled up their, their rods and then looked at us inconceivably when their rods got stuck. I, I think objectively I can say that I don't believe that I was too close to them when I went past. I was in the middle of the canal and they weren't paying attention to yeah. their fishing rod, the first guy. I saw that he was caught on the boat, so I slowed down. But because I was paying more attention to the guy behind me, I wasn't paying attention to where the boat was. So that is, you know, that That's is my us. fault. 
yeah. but they also it's quicker for somebody with a stick to lift this their fishing rod up little, than it is little. for me to re-maneuver my boat so I'm all for sharing the waterways you know we're very open and honest about the fact that the canals are a lovely place to spend time and I think that if you want to come out on a freezing cold day like this as a fisher person fill your boots but there are going to be boaters around whenever you're on the canal there's always going to be a boat so you just have to be mindful of the other people we're mindful of walkers and cyclists and fisher people and we even slow other down boaters. when people let their dogs go swimming in the canal we slow down because we don't want a dog near our propeller we know how to handle our boat and we do look at obstacles coming up but you know if you're in camouflage and you're in the middle of some reeds and and you hear a diesel engine coming then you should probably you know I, I have do noticed quite a lot because I would you know my preference as a boater would be to um, never have any altercations with anyone and when I see fishing rods in the water yeah. I, I do slow down but I've also noticed that a large number of fishermen that I've come across in our vast four years of, ex of cruising like to pay, play chicken and a lot of them only pull their rods up just before like seconds before your boat gets there which I don't feel that's fair to me as a, a boater because I don't I don't want to cut my hands trying to get your your whatever it's line. called line off my prop yeah. because it does hurt your fingers when you're trying to yeah. get stuff that's wound off your prop I and at this time of year as well I don't want to put my hand in the in the canal to untangle your your line from my prop because you haven't been paying attention as I've been coming along yeah we do live quite sheltered on the canals when it comes to negative um, interactions with people we don't we you know we're not in mainstream society some of the time so we don't actually end up being as robust as we would like sometimes and so when we do have altercations we have to think of these strategies to minimize the anxiety I think hanging out with you guys really helps as well I was saying earlier interestingly that we don't just want to present oh here's a beautiful summer cruising vlog and here's a gorgeous autumn on the Langoclin you know we want to show you like we don't want to show you boats colliding and boats sinking uh, people breaking in and we don't want to be sensationalist because you're just going to get exhausted and we're going to get exhausted and then we you know you're going to be making stuff up because and it doesn't happen also in our experiences those things happen <laughs> to us so we can't talk about yeah them. so we don't want to be sensationalist either but at the same time we don't want you buying your boat and thinking oh i'm gonna live this idealistic life and also think you know in summer it's fantastic it's the best place to be in my opinion i love it we love um cruising around and, and well you guys have seen seeing the yeah. scenery and enjoying the weather and all that kind of stuff and in winter it is different it is cold it is gray you do on occasion end up having ice rain fall on you yeah and it's wet and it's the towpaths are sludgy it's dangerous because it's so slippery it's really hard to be house proud in winter and I remember I don't think Jono will mind me quoting him but when we did tidy big pretty much this time last year a bit earlier than this time and we, we finished tidy big and Jono's like I just want some crisp white clean sheets and I want to curl up in bed and it was just that thing of yeah the narrowboat's gorgeous and look at us we spent this beautiful day outside um, but sometimes you just want to be comfortable and unfortunately it doesn't always happen and we would never want you guys to think that we were living this idealistic lifestyle that didn't involve work any hard work so. yeah. In, because the one thing that um, is quite apparent to us when it starts to get colder and the nights start to draw in is how much more um, easy it is to get kind of hemmed in to your your space so in the summer it's really easy to get your chair out or sit out on the towpath or even just on the back of the boat but in winter you're less inclined to do that because it's cold and uncomfortable and wet and whatever and so the space that you've got that you're prepared to access does get smaller and then it does become a lot more like living in a long rectangular narrow 
yeah, you can't go to a coffee shop. You can go out and yeah. you can go to different places, and so it is different. It's very different this year. Yeah, we're doing we're doing fine. <laughs> yes, we're we're happy. We're, we're fine. safe. We're yeah. comfortable. We've got everything that we need. We're really lucky. And I know that there's other people out there that are not as lucky as us. Hundred percent, I know that because yeah. that's just life, isn't it? Yeah. But you just need to be mindful when you're moving, thinking about moving onto a boat that it's not all plain sailing all of the time. Yes. We are heading back to our mooring now. Hopefully. We're wondering if maybe the guy who got water with us is gonna have taken our mooring, we'll see. Um, it's not a problem, there's lots of room. And I'm just gonna leave you with a little bit of cruising footage because I know you guys have been missing some cruising footage from us. Um, here you go. Waters don't seem to know um, the rules of the canal of which way they want to go. They've gone right, they've gone middle, they've gone left. We need to pass them on the right, but I don't think they know that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they said they knew they were meant to pass us on the right but they couldn't tell what we were doing. So which I explained, I need to maneuver very early on to get into position. So they're in the middle, they're on the right, then they're on the left. So it's I like, stopped, basically. I stopped and let them come forward. What a day. not the day for cats on board. So we have come back to the bridge that we started at and we would like to say thank you so much for coming with us today to our was meant to be uneventful water. Um, if you haven't already do consider subscribing um, because we have absolutely nothing coming up. <laughs> yeah but when we do film something you'll want to be notified so click that bell icon so you don't miss out on our next fun-filled action-packed narrowboat experience video <laughs> okay bye guys see you soon <laughs> <laughs>